what's up kingdom kids it's your girl yada and i'm back here with another espresso word yes your father has sent me with another espresso word guys y'all already know it's gonna be something to pick you up and get you going okay listen if you're new here hi welcome 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 we welcome you to be a part of this family okay so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if the holy spirit leads you to feel free to like comment or share okay don't forget to share the video bless somebody else with this word okay because i promise you this word is going to bless somebody okay listen i don't know who you are or where you are but this word is for somebody okay listen god before we get into the word we're gonna go ahead and welcome the lord into our space i'm gonna welcome him in here and i encourage you to do the same okay repeat after me family say father god i welcome you into this space Lord Jesus, I welcome you into this space. Holy Spirit, activate. Whew. Thank you, Lord. All right, guys, let's get into this word. And I promise I'm not going to keep y'all too long. All right. I hope everyone is well in Jesus' name. All right, guys, this is what the Lord is saying. God said, put some respect on my name. Listen to your father. He said, put some respect on my name. He said, I am faithful. Do you know that God is faithful? He said, I am a provider. I am the great I am. Do you hear what your father said? He said, put some respect on my name. I'm going to need you to put some. He said, y'all to go tell them, put some respect on my name. Act like they know who I am. I don't know who this is for, baby, but your father said, you're going to have to know he is faithful. That means he's going to do just what he said he would do. Do you hear me? Your father said, I am faithful. I will do just what I said I would do. Okay? He said, I am a provider. I don't just have it. I am willing to give it to you. Ooh, do you hear me? Your father say, I don't just have it. Y'all know some people have it and don't want to give it to you. Your father say, I don't just have it. I am willing to give it to you. Listen to what your father, he sent me to, to uh, Nahum, Nahum, uh, chapter one, verse seven. Nahum, chapter one, verse seven. It says, the Lord is good, a refuge in time of troubles. He cares for those who trust him. Come on now. Listen to what it said. I'm going to read it again. It said, the Lord is good. Come on now. Somebody said, the Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. He is a refuge in a time of trouble. Who do you run to in a time of trouble? God said, the reason you don't know me, you ain't putting respect on his name because you ain't been running to him, baby. He said, listen, you're going to everybody else. He said, you got to know that I'm a provider. I'm a provider with the job. Without the job, I will be there. I'm going to provide for you with the friends, without the friends, with mama, without mama, with daddy, without daddy, with the pastor. God say, I am the source. I am the source. I'm telling you, he said, with or without the resource, I am the source. So therefore, in your time of trouble... You ain't got to always run to the therapist. Come on now. You ain't got to always run to the doctor. Listen to God say, I am your doctor. I am the doctor. Come on. He said, I am the great I am. Listen to what your, the word says. It said, listen. He said, I am a refuge in a time of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. Do you trust in your father? Do you trust in your father? Do you trust in the Lord? Listen here, he also led me to Psalm 23. And I know we always like, yeah, most of what we know it. When you hear Psalm 23, you already know the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Come on now. Come on. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Do you know who your shepherd is? That's why you got you got to know who your shepherd is. So let me tell you something. God said you got to know who your shepherd is. And in the NIV version, it says, I lack nothing. When you know who your shepherd is, you lack nothing because he fits all your needs. Come on now. He said, when you know who your shepherd is, because he said, I am the good shepherd. Come on now. The Lord is the good shepherd. Come on. Listen to me. He said, I am the good shepherd. 
You lack nothing. Do you know who your shepherd is? Listen to what David said in Psalm 23. In verse 2 it says, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He makes me. Come on now. Who's making you? What is making you do something? Come on now. It said he leads me. Besides quiet waters or still waters, who leads you? Who is leading you? He refreshes my soul. Come on now. Listen to what God said. He is, he, David said, he said, he refreshes my soul. Who or what is refreshing your soul? Are you getting your soul refreshed? If you need your soul refreshed, I am telling you how to get it. You got to go to God for it. Listen, this is not it. He said he guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Come on now. Listen, I'm going to let y'all go. This is how God broke it out. He said, listen, one thing David said, he said he makes me. Come on now. And two, he said he leads me. And that's that he leads me to it, okay? And then he said he is, he refreshes my soul. He don't just refresh my thirst, baby. He refreshes my soul. Come on now. This is the real drink. Come on now. The, the living water in Jesus' name. Then in four it says, the fourth thing he said, he guides me. So he didn't just lead me to it. Come on. He guided me through it. Come on. Ooh, I don't know what kind of God you serve. I'm trying to tell you, your father. Your father say, I will not just leave you to it if I ain't going to get you through it. Come on. He said, but you got to come to me. You've been going to everybody else, but you got to come to me. I hear the Lord say, come on now, I'm doing it for my name's sake. Listen to me. He said, I'm doing it for my name's sake. You listen. He said, you got to come to me because this is about me. God say, whatever you want, whatever you need, start believing me for it. Come on now, not yourself, not your husband, not your wife, not your mama, not your daddy, not your friends, not your pastors, not your boss, not your co-workers. God say, I am the great I am. Start believing me for it. When you start believing me for it, come on, that's how you start building on that rock and not saying. He said, when you start believing me for it, that changes the game. That is a game changer, okay? Do you hear your father? He said, believe me for it. Listen to me. I'm about to tell you, he said, I'm the great I am. I am the provider. Jehovah Jireh. Anybody know that provider? Say Jehovah Jireh. Come on now. He said, I am your healer. I am your healer, Jehovah Rapha. Come on now, Jehovah Rapha, I am your healer. And if you know, you ain't got to remember that. You can say Jesus. Anybody know how to call on Jesus? Anybody know the power in the name of Jesus? Come on now, somebody just type it out. Just say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Come on, make the devil mad. Type it out, type out Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You got to know your shepherd. Who are you letting lead you? We all sheep. We're all sheep, and every sheep needs a shepherd. Otherwise, they'll just follow the flock anywhere and go jump off a cliff or anything. You have to, uh, 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 sheep go anywhere blindly. At least if you're going to go and go anywhere blindly, you better have the right shepherd. You want the good shepherd showing you, I mean, leading you and guiding you. Amen. God said you need to call on Jesus. Call on Jesus. Come to me. I am all you need. I hear the Lord say, come to me. I am all you need. Baby, you don't need a house. You don't need a man. You don't need a job. You don't need a business. You need me. For we already know who Jesus is. He like remind them. For he say, the word says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Come on, I'm going to push that in y'all head so much. You're like, I'm just seeking God. Whatever comes for me is for me because God, this is what God wants for me, okay? It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all those things shall be added unto you. So the first thing you got to do is get to God. Amen? All right, y'all, listen to it. I, I don't know. That's all I have, y'all. I pray that this blesses you. Whoever it was intended for, God is saying, do not forget that I am a provider. You cry and say, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Because they all won't help me. That God say, come to me. I am waiting to help you. I can't wait to show you just how good I am. He said, test me and taste and see that I'm good. All right? Listen, y'all. I pray that this word blesses you. I pray that it gives you exactly what you need. Okay? Your father is faithful. 
listen to me your father is faithful even when you're not come on now your father is faithful even when you're not all right y'all listen i love y'all so much god loves you more i pray that this blesses whomever was intended to bless in jesus name otherwise y'all listen go out and live a blessed life you know a blessed life is first being a blessing right go be a blessing baby